Hi everyone, and here's our devotional for Saturday, September 12th, entitled, Overwhelming Bless... Wait, did I read that right? No. Overflowing Blessing. Big difference. My God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Philippians 4.19 and KJV. Oh, cool. A wrong idea of reality lies behind wrong response to life. If we think God is stern and angry and despotic, we will live frightened. If we think that God is miserly and stingy, we will live feeling gypped. If we think that God is abstract and impersonal, we will live aimlessly and trivially. The gospel teaches us that in every way God supplies, he overflows with blessing and salvation. In touch with that reality, we live with a sense of abandonment and walk with a confident gaiety, freely trusting, freely hoping, freely loving. Traveling light, that one's called. <laughs> Again. But, isn't that awesome? Because, um, you know, I'll be honest. Um, I, you know, I grew up, I had a very, I was very blessed to be raised with a very strong foundation and memorizing God's word, knowing God's word, knowing his truths, knowing about the plan of salvation and knowing a lot of things. Um, but I remember thinking, you know, when I kind of went away from him, I remember thinking God could never love me after all I'd done. And I used to feel that way. And I thought, man, I could never go to him because he, he wouldn't accept me. But that is the farthest thing from the truth ever. It's, it only takes that one step. Come to him. Ask him. And no, he doesn't answer with a booming voice or, you know, thunder or, you know, whatever. So most of the time he doesn't. And most of the time, like, I've never heard the audible voice of God. But the still small voice, you know, in my thoughts and everything. But I remember when I came to him, he just changed my whole life. And I'm so thankful for Jesus. Um, and I got way off the track, didn't I? But anyway. <laughs> but yeah, it's, you know, our view of God it dictates how we live our lives. And um, I think it's so important to have a view of God as our loving father, um, a just father. Um, I think it, the, the, there should be a perfect balance. Um, yes, he is a loving father. He loves us. Um, but he is a father. There are things, you know, with your earthly father, there are things that um, that don't please him. He, he doesn't. Disobedience is not a good thing. How do I explain this? He's not like a dictator saying, well, you will obey me. But, you know, d disobedience d disappoints him. And it just, um, it lessens the person that he created. He created a person that, he created a person that has so much more potential than we can ever understand ourselves. And when we disobey him, it just, it disappoints him. It hurts him that we would do that. Um. We do it. We're human and we do it. He knows that we are human and that we're, you know, we're but dust, as Psalm says, you know. So, Lord, help us to be, to be able to, to know you as who you are. And help us to just be able to understand your love more and more and more every day. And just show us your love today. And I just, Lord, I just also want to pray for any loved ones that we have that might not know you. I just pray that you would re reveal yourself to them in a mighty way. In Jesus' name, amen. And may the Lord bless you all and be with you till tomorrow.